Daylight saving time adds extra hours of daylight during the summer season. What's the point and who came up with this concept of daylight saving time and how does it work? Daylight saving time is the practice of setting the clocks forward one hour during the spring and back again in the fall in order to take advantage of natural daylight. It has both benefits and negative consequences. This video helps you understand all of them. The idea was proposed by George Hudson to give more sunlight in the summer by moving the clocks forward an hour. Compared to all other human activities, the sun will rise early and set late. This switch effectively gives people more sunshine and a nice summer. In 1895, New Zealand entomologist George Hudson made this proposal of time change in the summer to the Wellington Philosophical Society for hunting more bucks. His idea was received but didn't work. Later, in 1905, a British builder, William Willett, came up with similar idea of Hudson's. His proposal was moving clock ahead 20 minutes each Sunday in April and moving back 20 minutes each Sunday in September. He walked year after year to the British Parliament until his death in 1915. In the early 20th century, during the World War I, the Germans were looking for a way to conserve energy, and the only way they found was saving the daylight. Germany was the first country to establish daylight saving time. Today, around 70 countries in the world practice daylight saving time. What is the point of having daylight saving time? The daylight saving time saves energy. It has a lot to do with the weather. The history of daylight saving is tied to energy conservation. Switching to daylight saving time is a summer means more sunlight at night, which in turn means homes do not have to turn on lights as early. Clocks in the northern hemisphere are set one hour ahead between March and April and set back one hour during October to November. The reverse happens in the Southern Hemisphere. Here in the United States, the time change every second Sunday of March and ends first Sunday of November. If you live near the equator, day and night are nearly the same length, which is 12 hours. But elsewhere on the Earth, there is much more daylight in the summer than in the winter. The closer you live to the North or South Pole, the longer the period of daylight in the summer. Thus, daylight saving time is usually not helpful in the tropics, and countries near the equator generally do not change their clock. The states that do not follow the daylight saving time in the United States are Hawaii and Arizona. Because of Arizona's hot climate, daylight saving time is largely considered as unnecessary. That's the reason Arizona doesn't observe daylight saving time. Because of Hawaii's tropical latitude, there is not a large variation in daylight between the winter and summer and thus Hawaii has never observed daylight saving time under the Uniform Time Act. A 2019 survey conducted by the American Academy of Sleep Medicines found that more than half of Americans typically feel tired after daylight saving time begins in the spring. Setting the clock forward one hour for the daylight saving time in spring usually means losing an hour of sleep. This makes people so tired. A Swedish study found that the risk of having a heart attack increases in the first three weekdays after switching to the daylight saving time in spring. Tiredness induced by the clock change is thought to be the main cause for the increase in traffic accidents on the Monday following the start of the daylight saving time. There were more workplace injuries and the injuries were of greater severity compared to the other Mondays after the start of the daylight saving time. Another study shows that switching of clocks caused a 25% jump in heart attacks, it leading to car accidents, workplace injuries, suicide or even miscarriage. These are the tips to make the transition easier. Adjust to your body clock and wake up little earlier than usual. Eat a healthy breakfast first thing in the morning because food tells your body it's the start of the day. 
Help little children adjust by putting them to bed little bit earlier at least one week before the time is changed. Change the time on your manual clocks like your wall clock few hours ahead so that you may not lose track. By whatever solution you prefer, this biannual clock switch needs a fix. How would you adjust to time changes? I would love hearing your thoughts. See you soon. Bye-bye.